guys welcome to my car welcome to my car in today's video i haven't made a video in a while hi guys what is up i'm growing my hair out again so i'm about to deal with this headache i'm already dealing with it but it's looking okay. it's okay today so we'll see i feel cute though today i'm rocking my blue blazer i think it's from Sheen, I'm gonna tell people Sheen. You know, we you can it doesn't have a tag, but you can tell based on previous items that you've gotten. I found this at Gabe's, and um, I was like, oh, five dollars for this really nice quality blue blazer. Navy, like this is fine. The shirt's from Shein. Um, I'm wearing my Express jeans today and some shoes from Shoe Department, <laughs> but you can't see all that. You just see this. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, hi guys. Today's a cute day. I just don't have Dunky. That's the only thing missing is my Dunkin' Donuts. A pumpkin, large iced pumpkin coffee with my extra cream and extra liquid sugar, please. Um, how am I doing, guys? How is everybody doing? I'm okay. I don't know how I'm doing, honestly. I don't know how I'm feeling. But then again, I feel like that's everybody. These days, nobody really knows how they're doing. The world and times we live in today it's like nobody really knows how they're feeling how they are what they're even doing and they're just kind of you know i feel like i'm going through the motions or what's what's the term the notions or the motions i'm just going through the motions i'm just waking up going to work going home and going to sleep there's like no life and i'm very like I, I never know how to answer this question i don't like talking about it because you know it, it always comes across or comes back to me like I'm being like a dick or a bitch or like the bad guy. And I'm just like, I don't even, like, I can just process everything by myself. I'm used to it. I just do better on my own like that. Always have, always will be. There's no trying to convince me otherwise, you know. But um, I just don't feel like I'm fulfilled. I never feel like I'm fulfilled. It's just like, I don't have my own space. I don't have enough space. I don't have enough me time. I don't have enough funds i don't have enough let's see mental stability i feel like i don't even know and i already know i'm gonna have to answer all these questions later what do you mean why like i and i don't want to talk about it but i'm just this is my therapy this is my outlet and sometimes i ask myself and i feel like this is something we should all ask ourselves when we find an outlet when we find something that's here we go i'm just i'm just starting um when we get into outlets when we all find hobbies or passions are we really, after so long, is it really a hobby or an outlet or are we actually doing something about it? Like, of course we find the outlets and stuff to cover up, the cover up problems, but it's like, are we just using outlets now as a band-aid after so long? So I think to myself, hmm, I do all my outlets, my videos, my pictures, my fashion, this and that, and I've just done it for so long now and I'm still feeling the same. So I'm like, okay, are my outlets really doing anything or are they just like the band-aid to cover up the problems that I'm not acknowledging though I am acknowledging them inside but it's weird so that's how I'm feeling <laughs> oh my god I can't I already know exactly what I'm dealing with after I post this video but um these birds are like having a feast out here over some chicken is that chicken or meatloaf it looks like chicken I don't know. You may see them like in between here and there. They're flying and they're on the ground here. Oh, they're all flying away now. I probably scared them. But, um, you know, you know, I feel like, and I keep comparing myself to other people and I shouldn't do that. And, um, I feel like at my age, I guess people start to settle down, but I feel like I cannot settle down from a life that I haven't even lived yet. And that's how I feel. I feel like I have not lived a fulfilled life. And I'm very like, well, before my relationships, I was very like social. I was very like outgoing in my prime, I call it. Like my content was cool. Like my content was good. I was feeling like on top of the world. I had my head on straight. I had like jobs in check. I had my finances okay. I had organization in my life and I just feel like everything has fallen off in the last couple of years which happens to people I know and it's how you handle the situations and um I'm handling them by not handling them <laughs> and I'm fine honestly I'm fine with it most days but there are days where I'm like okay I want to do something about it like I need to do something about it and it's hard because I really want to be the person around and be like I don't want to be around anybody I need to solely focus on myself because it's necessary and it's healthy for all of us 
And whoever doesn't think so clearly hasn't had the chance in their life or has not had that fire inside them, has not had, I don't know, a certain, I don't know. But then again, I feel like as a creative, as a creator, like an art, a creator, like an artistic creative person, the normal average everyday Joe kind of person does not have those feelings as well. So I put that into, I put that into an account. Or, or whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. So, that's what I'm feeling. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm just around the same people all the time. I'm just, which is like, it sounds selfish, but like, yeah, I need to be at this point in my life. I'm just tired of being around the same people. Like, sometimes I wish I can just go home to my own space and just like, uh, and then just like go out as I please or whatever and not have to worry about like an itinerary or a schedule. I, I'm very go with the flow F most days, you know, other days. I'm, I'm, I'm just a very weird person because I can be very go with the flow, hippie-ish, just like whatever, yo, yo, peace. <laughs> but then like other days I'm like dressed up like I gotta be like successful I gotta be like you know I gotta have everything right like I'm very like neat and you know so it's weird I'm like very I'm different I've always been different but I'm just like ah uh, I don't know I'm just getting things out I don't know how I feel I mean I know how I feel but I don't know how I feel I, I really don't know how I feel I don't know what I'm feeling I feel like I'm not living fulfilled a fulfilled life I'm just wasting I've wasted my 20s away I feel like though I can't say that because I'm not a regretful person. I've had many great days and great memories and times in my 20s. I've had, I've had the best days of my life in my 20s. But in terms of like goals and things to work for, I feel like there's not much to show for that. And whatever I had to show is gone now. So, though I'm working on it, I'm at a really good job right now that's working, that I'm working myself in as a career path, potential career path. Um, I hope to be with who I'm working with for a very long time. They've offered me amazing opportunities so far. So I'm just kind of taking that and, you know, going with it. And um, I enjoy it. But I'm trying to think what else. I have some project ideas in my head that I want to, like, look into. I just don't know where, how to go about it and stuff like that. Um, like, honestly, my goals, I just, I honestly, right now, in this day, in this moment of my life, and it's been for a while, I just want to be on my own, like, be in the city, be in New York, do, like, artsy jobs, you know, work my regular job, but also, like, create something else, like, do something more creative, use my passions and my outlets for actually something for my life and future, instead of just, like, posting pictures and get the likes and I'm not getting anything out of it because I want to inspire people through my creativity and I feel like I'm while I'm doing that I feel like I'm not doing that and like I'm not being noticed and I'm not, I'm not trying to like be famous and be noticed and oh my god I want the attention I feel like I, I post really good content and I my, my creative aspect like everything is like I, I'm, it's so good I feel like and nobody notices it. Nobody like pays attention to that. But people, but just the way I guess it's the way the algorithm or whatever. Or whatever. But people watch these days. This generation, TikTok. People are like looking at the wrong things, and I feel like the wrong people are getting noticed and famous, which maybe they wanted it to. I don't know. See, I, I really don't know what I'm thinking or what I feel a lot of the time. It's like I do, but it's trying to connect the dots and put all the pieces together. And um. And I think to myself, like, while I'm grateful, I want so much right now. I want so much success. I want so much independence. I want so much stability. I want so much, you know, organization in my life. And I always think to myself, like, I'm grateful for what I have, but I always want more. And I think that's so true for everybody. If you don't want more, that's cool. You are the average Joe. You want to settle for the, you know, a simple bare minimum life. That's not for everybody. It's certainly not for me. Never has been for me. And I've done it for so long because I feel like I've just had to. And I'm like, um, oh, I've been over it for a very long time. And I feel like all these people who are of something or like, you know, whose name is out there, who are successful celebrities today, they also, I'm sure, 99% of the time did not want the bare minimal life as well. So what did they do? They did something about it. Even, you know, Kim Kardashian, you know, she, you know, 
she, you know, had some wee wees in her life on camera. I do, I don't want to like, you know, be vulgar, but you know, she had some, you know, good times on the camera that got her famous. So I guess I can understand. I mean, people do what they got to do. People make TikToks and they get famous and I, it works. So who am I to judge people? But uh, sometimes I do feel like the wrong people get noticed. People can just be posting videos of other people falling down the stairs and they're like, they're like, oh my God, they're the world. So, you know, unless you do comedy, you know, like Lozelle does comedy and, you know, she's been on the map, you know, from her cinnamon challenge, though I've watched it beforehand. But, you know, people do certain things and that's like their, their thing. She's always been a comedian. Random TikToks who don't have a thing get famous off of one video and then they're like, you know, oh my God. And they, you know, the ego comes in, the attention, the uh, fame whore, you know, all that comes in, whatever. I feel like for like almost 15 years, I've posted like such a, I've been such an open book about what I post my, my life and things that I've gone through and creative content that just really don't really get noticed. And I feel like it's good to help people. I feel like my views are good my outlooks on life, my beliefs, I feel like people can relate to them, but for some reason the right the certain like the right kind of people are not finding it or people in general are not finding it. So anyway, that's on my mind sometimes, but I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm feeling right now. Um, you know, I'm good most days. Like really I I love coming to work. I feel like work has turned into my home away from home. It's where I enjoy being at work more than being at home sometimes. Because I just like, when I know I'm going home, it's like, I feel like I'm just going home to like the mental prison. I feel like I'm just like, oh my God, I'm going home. I'm just going to do the same old shit when I get home. Do nothing but like sit on a couch, sit on a bed, sit on a porch, go for a walk and like come back home, eat dinner, go back on the couch or the bed and sit, scroll through my phone and then it's bedtime watching TV. Like I'm so sick of the boring life. Like I wanna live in a city where I can meet friends, meet people, not to worry about being home or whatever and just, you know, going out for lunch, brunch, dinner, walk in the park, taking my pictures, doing my content out and about, vlogging, you know, window shopping in the city or something and just, you know, just something different, like a different environment, I don't know. It's where I live too. There's nothing here anyway, but, and it's like, I, I, I have no drive to look for a place around here or I look at homes. I, I just can't look at houses and be like, eh, yeah. Like, no, there's no, there's nothing like that's like going to even try to want me to stay here at this point and be around here. And it's like, I don't even feel like looking at other places because I'm just like, mm, cause I'm just like, and it's hard. It's hard, hard, hard when you're in a relationship. It's hard when you're with a close family it's it's hard when you've been sheltered it's just hard like I, my brother he's got out he got out I'm like he got out while he did like cool I'm just like oh my god like I and I envy people I compare myself to other people too much and I'm like eh but I know other people have it worse so I think about that and it's like I'm always thinking but like yeah but I feel like I'm not thinking into a depression like I used to it's like more thinking to where I'm just driving myself crazy but I'm already crazy anyway that's how I feel today guys that's how what's well, how I've been feeling just had a van to get things off my chest. But I also know I haven't made a vlog in a while in a video. So I thought I'd catch you guys up to speed. I'm always an open book. I'm always going to tell you guys how I feel. And that be that. So I got to go to work because I'm going to be late if I don't. So thanks guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.